New at 5, a huge turnaround for a school that used to be on the governor's list of failing schools. Stone Mountain High School in DeKalb County is a number of students from low-income homes. And Channel 2's Carol Sparge talked to the students and the principal about what they've done, Carol, to make that big change. Justin, schools in Georgia end up on the failing schools list if they get less than 60 on what's called the College and Career Ready Performance Index three years in a row. Now, the plus is in the middle, so where, what property you got to use? They give you one-on-one -on -one time, tutorial to help you understand the content. I ask staff to really look at students as being their own. You got to take on a parent role. That, after Stone Mountain High, ended up on the chronically failing schools list a few years ago. This was devastating. Principal James Jones knew he had to make changes, including getting rid of some teachers. And those who came up to bar, they are still here, but those who did if not, they're gone. And I call it grow or go. Jones says he emphasized tutorials, spent money on technology for learning, and students are split into smaller groups as they learn in the classroom. Even those students who may not be, high, quote, higher achievers, they tend to learn from the higher achievers in the group. The changes didn't stop in the classroom. The principal said he decided to close down the vending machines during school hours. They were discovering that students were spending too much time picking up snacks and then getting to class late. The principal says it's added up to an 11% increase in the score. It shows that, hey guys, we were on the failing list, but we, you know, we overcame that and now it's time to apply ourselves. In all five DeKalb County schools have come off of the governor's list of underperforming schools. The district has two fewer schools on the list than last year. Jovita. Thank you, Carol. Investigate.